SK Geocentric tells us the story of its new energy solution. New energy is literally a new form of energy that is different from traditional forms of energy such as oil, coal, or natural gas. New energy is energy generated by converting conventional fossil fuels or by harnessing renewable energy such as solar, hydro, and geothermal. Sources of new energy include a wide variety of Earth-centered and inexhaustible and sustainable sources, ranging from the familiar solar, wind, and hydroelectric energy to wave energy and ocean temperature differential geothermal. Currently, the most used energy sources in the world are fossil fuels like coal and oil. But as the population has grown, so has per capita energy consumption. This has led to an explosion in fossil fuel consumption worldwide. As a result, the planet is suffering from rising global warming, extreme weather events, and rising sea levels due to greenhouse gas emissions. In addition, fossil fuels are a finite resource on Earth that is likely to run out soon. But because new energies exist in nature, unlike traditional energy sources, we don't have to worry about running out of them. In addition, they are non-polluting and environmentally friendly, which has a very positive effect on our health and the environment. It also reduces our dependence on foreign energy imports. That's why we are currently working hard to find new energy sources in various ways. SK Geocentric is also working on new energy. Solar energy is the most representative form of new energy. It is expected to become the world's largest energy source, surpassing coal in terms of cumulative global solar power generation by 2027. Then, what is the most important part of solar power generation? It is the panels. The structure of a solar cell consists of the following layers from top to bottom, glass, encapsulant, cell, encapsulant, and back sheet. An encapsulant is a film that protects solar cells from external shocks made of thin, fragile materials. The encapsulant is the key component of the solar cell, preventing moisture from entering the cell. It also provides insulation and prevents the cell from cracking on impact. For a long time, ethylene vinyl acetate, EVA, was used as the material for solar cell encapsulants. But in high temperatures or humid environments, moisture could corrode the cells, causing acetic acid, and EVA did not insulate the cells enough to block electricity leakage. These reduce the efficiency of power generation. Solar panels are known to have a lifespan of approximately 20 to 30 years. So, if they don't last as expected because of these drawbacks, it is hard to say that solar panels are very geocentric, isn't it? SK Geocentric wanted to prevent and overcome these problems. SK Geocentric's POE is designed to extend the life of solar panels and generate electricity with higher efficiency. The first is the ability to withstand high voltages and moisture. On hot and humid days, solar panels may generate leakage currents. This can degrade performance and reduce power generation by 20% or more. However, the high volume resistivity of PLE and its ability to resist moisture can reduce the risk of premature cell failure or the need for frequent replacement. In addition, the low water vapor permeability can eliminate corrosion problems. The ability to respond to a changing climate, long-term weatherability, provides better durability and performance over the life of the module. The second is transparency. The refractive index of PoE film is very close to that of glass, which reduces refractive losses between the glass polymer and maximizes light transmission to the active cell material. In other words, it maximizes the efficiency of the encapsulant. In summary, you can see that it's a very thin yet efficient material that is stronger than traditional materials. It acts like an iron wall to protect the solar cell from moisture. We will also continue with the developments that are geocentric. We are asking you to support our pioneering projects. 
as SK Geocentric won't stop trying to make geocentric developments.